Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today I am going to attempt to cook a brisket over the open fire. Now I've never done this before and we're out camping and I thought gotta give it a try. Just gotta give it a try. So I, if you've watched my videos you know that I'm, uh, I would love to cook over the fire and this is my grill set up here and if you're really interested in building one of these you can go up check out that video but basically I built this grill here so that I'm just this is just a cheap little uh, uh, barbecue that I bought at one of the box stores and the lid just goes right over top we're just gonna put the brisket down here and then I'm gonna try and maintain the heat with some apple I've got some maple I've got some uh, briquettes and some charcoal, just a little bit of everything. And this is going to go, oh, probably going to be 12 hours anyway. So not sure whether or not I'll be eating this today or it'll uh, go for uh, sandwiches tomorrow. But always wanted to do it, so we're going to do it. All right, I'm going to get the brisket set up. We're just going to season it with some uh, uh, kosher and some black pepper, a little bit of garlic. And that's it. Let's get started. We've got a long ways to go. Before we got started, got to have breakfast first. And today I'm having an Elvis. And that would be a grilled banana sandwich. Looks pretty good. Now, of course, I'm not using the whole brisket. I'm just using a piece of brisket. Some guys are going like, oh, that's just wrong. Well, we're out camping, and I'm the only one that's going to be eating this, so I don't need a whole brisket. All right, let's domer. Get started. Now, I want to maintain a fairly low temp so I've got it up fairly high and we're just gonna have to be patient I do have a you know a little thermometer I stuck in here and you know if I can get anywhere from 200 it's probably gonna be pretty good when you have uh, the radiant heat coming straight up even a little less than that would probably suffice so we're just gonna try and maintain a low low fire through the day that's going to be a tough job. I can do it though. All right, I'll give you an update. All right, we got about 220. Been about an hour and a half. That's not too bad for an hour and a half. Now, maintaining the fire, that's a little bit of a challenge, but the briquettes really help a lot because it holds the heat and then you put a little bit of I got some uh, apple in there right now and just a few sticks here and there and that's all it seems to take well we'll know in about ten and a half hours Okay, we're gonna get some uh, rain a little later maybe. So we tarped up, it's all looking good. Time for an update. All right, three hours, fat has started to render out a little bit. Looking really, really good. You can see how small of a fire I got going. It's working out great. So far, so good. Check this out. Not burning, just looking perfect. So it's getting a little windier. You can probably hear the wind. 
So it's a little harder to maintain that heat. You gotta add just a little bit more. But I've been doing a really, really good job keeping around that 225. With the uh, the lump charcoal, and or I got briquettes. They are, uh, that's key. Cause they're gonna keep that heat for a long time. Throw a little wood on there, it starts up. And it's been working great. So, we're at five and a half hours right now. I don't have a thermometer. But I believe that cooking a brisket is just one of those things you're born with. So I'm relying on my pre-mortal instincts here. And I'm just going to go with the timing. It looks good. So 10 hours or so I'm going to wrap it up in some tin foil. But for the meantime, I'm just going to maintain some heat and let her go. She's looking good. We're a little over uh, hour six. We're just gonna put a couple chicken breasts on there to cook while this one's cooking as well. I'm gonna take some time, but that is looking good. All right, so now it's been 10 hours. Time uh, to wrap her up in some foil, and then we'll uh, let it sit on here for another hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So we'll get some foil. I think we're just going to have just enough foil here. That was close. All right, I'm gonna just chuck it back on here and then we're just gonna kind of bring it off to the side and just kind of maintain a couple hundred degrees and it should be good. Can kick the fire up a little bit now. We've let this uh, kind of be off to the side. It's been hovering around 200 for about two hours. And now we're gonna let it rest. I'll probably let it rest 45 to an hour and then we're gonna cut into it. Now, it's been a big day. My eyes are pretty sore from the smoke, but I think it's all gonna be well worth it. It's getting a little late, of course, but I don't think it'll be too dark to film us uh, slicing this up. So, we'll be right back when this gets all rested up. We're gonna slice it up, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion. All right. Moment of truth. I dressed up. Notice I don't have the big hole here. Got my good jacket on today. Now, I'm going to take a look. It's been sitting for an hour. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay. This deserves a zoom in. Ok, 
how juicy that is. Wow. You can just see the, the juices in there. Beautiful. Taste test. Oh, that's delicious. Now, of course, we're making brisket here. But there's nothing saying that you can't throw a pork roast on or some ribs. It'd be uh, just the same process. And to be honest, being real honest here, I did not think it was going to turn out this good. This is just so moist and tender. Hmm. That's as good as any brisket I've ever had. So, over the next little bit here, I'm going to be enjoying some brisket. I wished you could have a little piece, but it was a success. <clears throat> now, it took a lot of time. There's a lot of effort involved here. You know, this is uh, 12 hours worth of effort. My eyes burn because of the smoke, but it was something I wanted to do while out camping, and I did it, and it worked. Even if it wasn't gonna work, you're still gonna see the fail. But tender, juicy, flavorful, and the one thing that I was afraid of most, that it would be over smoky, and it's not at all. It's just, it's just wonderful. I just, I can't describe it. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. I know that I did, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.